Alright, hello and welcome to Repunk, which is a game that I've been waiting to, to see for a while. I've technically played it a couple of times, but uh, its team release was today, and uh, here we here we go. Our satellites captured images of a device on the surface of Mars. All attempts reaching it with crawlers have been futile. A human envoy is required. If you're reading this, it means you have been chosen for this mission. Go land in a solo astro drop pod near the device location. You'll have 48 hours to reach the extraction point. Goodbye and drop on, and you and I were best buddies for a while. That's where I need to go and add vehicle. Let's see what we got. We got a little, little building over there. Or something. Something over there. Visibility on Mars is pretty good. It's like it's, it's like a I don't know. Like it's um not a bad day as far as being able to see. Martian-born citizen of Eden, or a traveler from our old Earth. I hope this message finds you well. My name is Zam. I am the head librarian of Eden, and it has fallen upon me to record these messages. For the last 60 Earth time years, our colony has thrived in complete peace and isolation. Following the principles of the original crew, we built a Pacific society rooted deep underground the Martian soil. My fellow citizens are raising their eyebrows. This is very well-known information for all Martians. Even infants know this. But I feel... well, feelings have nothing to do with this. We are, after all, people of science more than people of faith. We know that turbulent times wait ahead. And despite our predictions backed by our science, cannot know for certainty who will find these recordings. Friend or foe, Earther or Martian. We... Oh, Grom, do not look at me like that. As I was saying, we decided to record these messages in the hope that in case of the worst, someone will know what happened here. I remember when everybody was like so sure that Elon Musk was going to somehow put a bunch of people on Mars and uh, uh okay well I just crashed that a little bit uh but yeah it, like it hasn't happened I don't think it's ever going to happen to be honest I don't think Elon Musk is uh going to be able to put on you know people on Mars we, we haven't even made it back to the moon although that's supposed to happen I think what next year it's hard to tell though because of all the aliens and yeah, the aliens on the moon it's a real thing I saw it on uh, YouTube on YouTube YouTube told me uh, that there's aliens on the moon and that's why we haven't gone back and YouTube is nothing but but facts and please don't please don't believe that YouTube is so full of nonsense uh, but the aliens on Mars or the moon could be a real thing mm -hmm. who knows I, I definitely am not going the way that I'm supposed to because eh, I'm just exploring. You know, it's good times. I wanted to come and see what this thing is. What is this? Like an egg that's been like hollowed out. Oh, oh no, it's actually a face. All right, very nice. Uh, it's like still being made. It's like some Prometheus. 
them Prometheus style stuff. Hello, weird face. Okay, well. That's just weird. Alright, I guess I will take it serious. Although it seems like I'm actually kind of going the right way, I just have to keep going straight ish. It's a very capable vehicle. Alright, there's something in front of us, but what is it? Those pipes, where do they go? Um, I, I, I don't know. What's underground? Well, let's find out, shall we? It's not even where I'm supposed to be, but... can't go in those. I wonder if we can go through the pipes here. No. Nope. I think I was, I was hoping those were going to be something I could kind of go in. Uh, now I did say I did play this before and it is technically true. Uh, I played some early versions and uh, you know I've, I don't really remember per se every location to go to uh, and even then I want to go to different places I want to like just you know have some nice fun times We got a glass book to find out what it is. That music or that sound is kind of creepy. I feel like I don't have enough oxygen to properly explore this area then I'm freezing to death but I've gone so far I, I mean I, I just I have to try this out no because I'll just die let me let me just go in and drive around to the other side because that's what I would do for real you know In the year 2889, by Jules and Michael Verne. It's a classic book. Like a short story, you could actually read this if you wanted to. Jules Verne, uh, yeah, there's some great stories from Jules Verne. I don't think I've ever read this one. I've read a lot of, like, really old science fiction books, but I don't think I've read this one. Try a new radio station. Nice change of pace.
It looks like there's another glass book. Uh, somewhere in the corner over there, so I'm going to drive over that way and do that. I mean, it seems like, you know, this was once a, a rather thriving location, uh, but for whatever reason, things have not really stayed that way. Door. I wonder if there's any other doors around here that I could get into. Kind of weird that we see like the um, the glass books. The glass books stick out like a sore thumb almost. But then trying to find like a door is like, eh, maybe you'll find it. Maybe. All right. Well, um, I guess. Uh, I guess it's time to, like, actually go where I'm supposed to. It seems like it's pretty um, much a bad idea to be outside right now anyway, because I'm freezing to death. I think I just froze to death. Yeah, I just died. Dang. I was actually a little bit unexpected. I didn't think it would die so quickly. All right, second time is the charm. Maybe. <laughs> God. Hey, we lasted 12 minutes on Mars and then we died. It's a quicker ending than the movie Red Planet. It's Val Kilmer. Or is that the one with Gary Sinise? No, that was uh, some other Mars movie. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Whew. For a second there, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get in. Alright, this time I'll take things a little bit more more serious, I think, and try to get to the, uh... I don't know, whatever this line is in front of us, I feel like that's where I'm supposed to go, so let's just... Let's just go this way. I think what I'll do is I'll probably spend some time trying to do the actual narrative. Uh, you know, actually focus on doing the story portion. And then afterwards, I will just go on an exploration journey. I feel like that's probably like the best way to do this. It's hard to believe it's Monday. I mean, this weekend just kind of went by really fast. Yeah, it definitely seems to be this building, but even then, that doesn't seem right. I don't know why I would try to want to go to a building. I feel like I would try to go somewhere else. Oh god, no. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Am I stuck? I think I've done the near impossible. It is amazing. Oh sweet, I think I am stuck. Oh, this is great. Um, you might think, you know, that it's a terrible thing that I'm stuck, but uh, one of the things that I did with um, I had a lot of conversations with the developer prior to uh, the game releasing, and um, 
They had a, a really felt confident that it was going to be very, very difficult, if not impossible, for somebody to get stuck. And I said, no, 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 I will find a way to get stuck. It is going to happen. And um, during the versions I played, you know, early in the game, uh, you know, the uh, pre-release versions, I couldn't do it. I couldn't find a way to get stuck. And uh, now that I've... I feel fairly certain I've I've managed to get stuck. I'm very proud of myself. All right, I I, I, I think we're gonna have to go outside and just <laughs> we're gonna have to go die. Oh, yeah, uh, you're in there. You're stuck. Oh, well, at least I can uh, check out this building and see what's what's there. Looks like we have a, a tape. That door is locked. Let's see if there's another door anywhere. Well, there's a uh, glass book up at the top. Seems like uh, we're not supposed to go up there. Stairs seem to be very, very narrow. I suppose in the future, like if everybody's like on Mars and. They gotta be in fairly decent shape, I would imagine. Oh, I think it's funny that the game makes a joke about the stairs, considering I'm struggling with the stairs right now. Yeah, the stairs are definitely no joke. Uh, Alright. I didn't see any other possible way inside. This doesn't look like a place that's going to lead to anything. I guess at this point, let's go back to the LV, see what we got, and um, and take our helmet off outside and, and, and die because I'm very much stuck. Pretty hilarious. All right, what do we get? We get a uh New disc. We knew from the beginning that Earth powers, independently of whoever would remain victorious after the ignition of what the original crew believed would be the second big war, would sooner or later reach Mars, exactly as our grandparents did three generations ago. Multiple scenarios were calculated, with outcomes ranging from slavism to total annihilation of our colony. Worse, even, considering human history, we could end up being the winning power. A colony so technologically advanced that manages to conquer their conquerors. No matter which course of action we take, conflict is guaranteed. Unless, of course, 
We follow the plan, which... Dang, I had kind of hoped maybe if I uh, spent some time outside of the vehicle for a little bit. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. No, we're still, we're still pretty stuck. Yeah, we're, 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 we're super stuck. All right. No choice but to um, just come outside and... Put an end to the misery. Uh... Oh, we can't we can't put the helmet on in time. I thought maybe we would be able to, but no dice. That's a shame. We would have been like theoretically okay, I guess. If we could have got the helmet on in time. I don't know how that would work. I mean, it almost feel as though if we would have really tried to get the helmet back on in time, um, it wouldn't have mattered, like Third time is a charm. In my head, I said third charm is a time. But I know I said third time is a charm. You know, it, it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to theoretically make it this time. Lots of lessons to be learned here. Don't drive when you don't know where you're going or how to properly drive a vehicle. Um, it's lesson one. And that's actually the only lesson I think I have, um, I have learned at the moment. Ooh, Mars is a harsh mistress. Which seems like a weird thing to say. I don't. I don't want to say Mars is a harsh mistress. Mistress. I would think that Mars, you know, is is like any loving lady. You know, it just takes some time to get to know each other, warm up. You know, a couple of a couple of dozen flowers now and then. So delicious spaghetti, and the next thing you know, you've got a a loving relationship. Obviously, it's more nuanced than that. I mean, you gotta wear a space helmet and, you know, all that stuff. But, I mean, it's, it's a planet, you know? It's not the same thing as a person. Alright, I don't think this is the place to go. So, I'm gonna go to this other place here, which it seems like that's still potentially not the right place either. Whoops. Ooh. Pull the emergency brake. Oh, you know what? I turned the radio back on. Well, there, I think there's three radio stations. Well, you know what? Actually, it could be this thing right here. Nope. Oh, I like this current song though. This current song is sweet. completely understand why we have a vehicle that uh, can take a lot of abuse uh, because I would imagine we would be dead like five or six times over at this point if, uh, if it was any other way.
It's too bad we can't like get uh, like enough speed to um, rocket herself off. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go to this place. I mean, it's it's right here. I don't. It's not where I'm supposed to go. It's I'm pretty sure it's that place behind me. But whatever. I'll figure this out eventually. I feel I'm being watched. Alright. Well. Let's see if I can find anything like a door or something before I go jumping out and running around. There might be a door. Here's a door. stop until one door opens. Very, very unlikely, based on everything I've seen, but I will see. See, people always ask, they're like, you know, like, when, when they talk about, like, ancient aliens or aliens in general, uh, having been on Earth and whether or not they would have potentially have built like you know, the pyramids or some other things and it's like well if they were you know such advanced beings why would they build stuff with stone well it's because stone lasts a really long time it actually lasts longer than like steel and iron and all that stuff so I feel like you know it seems more likely that if there were aliens they would definitely do that I'd also like to think that aliens would be um, connoisseurs of bacon and other delicious snacks, but I thought that was going to be a dead end. Um, well, climbing up here seems to have been an exercise in futility. Nothing, nothing here. Maybe, perhaps, this building over here. I mean, there's a tape or a glass book. Ah, it's a tape. Hmm. There must be an unlocked door somewhere. Alright, I take that as basically a sign that there is going to be an unlocked door in this particular location, so... Looks like we're not going to make any progress again because I want to find this door. I'll find it. Oh, it's like that girl in that wood movie where she's like, I'll find you. Hmm. Another locked door. God, I don't even know where else uh, to look for a door. This place looks like it might have been perhaps a refinery, um, maybe, I don't know, something like that. By you, door. I may have already tried that door. I don't think so, but <sighs> another dead end. a door up there. Oh, that is a door. Alright. Gonna try this door. One of these doors has gotta be like... Dang. It's locked too. I think one of these has to be a way in. Like we're just being teased at this point. Uh, now, I know one of these buildings you can get into. I just don't remember which one. It's actually like a key part of the story. I don't actually want to say it's a key part of the story. It's a... There's a building you can get into that... Um, 
Well, it, it has a, an important story bit. You know, and I'll, we'll just put it that way. I just can't remember which which place it is. And I'm assuming it's not this one, because if it was, I, I would imagine it would have figured it out by now. But I've tried all the doors. I think I've tried all the doors. Oh, no, no. Did I get stuck again? I've done... Eek. Okay, good. Oh, man, I was going to say, there's no way I've gotten stuck this many times. Uh... Oh, God. I've done it again. <laughs> that is so funny. That's not even supposed to be a thing that people are going to be able to do um, but apparently I have uh, a bit of a knack for um, getting stuck a bunch of times wait there we go it just takes a little bit of rocking back and forth wait you know what no, I think I am stuck I think um, I'm basically in a in a hole here. Oh yeah, I... I'm, I'm stuck here again. Well, Mars is apparently a very dangerous place in comparison to what you might think. It's certainly not downtown Nebraska. When I say downtown Nebraska, not downtown you know, is in like whatever kind of city there might be in Nebraska because it's Nebraska. Uh, you know, if you've ever been there, it is not a place that, um, not a place that has a whole lot going on. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's uh, certainly different. It's actually not a bad place. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a lot of flatness and stuff. Although I, I can't remember which which is flatter, Kansas or um, Nebraska. Yes, yeah, so why would they call this a device? It doesn't make much sense. All right. So this time, for real, I am I'm I'm going to not get distracted, and I'm actually going to drive to where I'm supposed to, or at least I'm going to try. I do imagine one of these times I'll actually get where I'm going. Like I I couldn't tell you exactly when that's going to happen, uh, because, well. As you can see, I am not exactly qualified to drive this LV, which uh, reminds me a little bit of like a like a train and uh, the APC from Aliens, which now makes me think of Alien Romulus. Which you know, it looks like it's going to be an amazing movie. So I'm, I'm really hoping it it, it is, but. You know, I keep forgetting I got the radio. Alright, so I've been to this building and it was a dead end. I've been to that one over there, which was a dead end. I think we're asking a lot of me to uh, remember all the locations I've been, but... I think I saw something in the grounds. 
uh, no, I think it was actually probably just a rock. Yeah, it's just a rock. Unfortunate, it seems like it's something, but definitely a rock. I'm glad I don't get motion sickness. I couldn't imagine playing this in VR the way that the way that this thing drives, like like it's being driven by a drunken Mel Gibson trying to relive his days in Mad Max. It's a shame he ruined his career by being a kind of a jerk face. Um, I guess his career did eventually get better. He's like gotten back into some movies and uh, directing and stuff, but. I don't even know how to get up to this place. It seems like it might be in like um like inside this little mountain range. I think I missed an entrance. I'll find it. I, mean, I, I can't imagine not finding it. I'm on, the, I'm on the right track, you know. Another building that seems interesting, that square spot. Looks like the Adidas symbol. I don't think that's accurate, but. Right, yeah, obviously this is not the way I'm supposed to go. Seems like it's like... Oh, you know, it's because it's like I'm trying to go straight up this mountain. I just couldn't see anything. Oh, God. We're never going to get up here. Maybe if I change... the music to a, a, a more peaceful song, perhaps that is all I need to... Um, To get there. I'm almost tempted to just jump out of the LV and try to run to the location, uh, but I know that I'm supposed to take this. I know there's an entrance. I just, I just can't remember where it is. And I've been here before. Not today, but in the past. In the time before now. Like the land before time. Yeah, that's a good movie. Oh, it's like, a, it's like basically this game is reminding me of a bunch of movies and I will say the land before time has absolutely nothing to do with Mars it's all about earth and dinosaurs although it has more dinosaurs than were real well, there's only the three types of dinosaurs that's also not true but it's an inside joke between my girlfriend and I uh, we were discussing dinosaurs and I explained to her there were only three dinosaurs the T-Rex, the Allosaurus 
brontosaurus or I don't know maybe it was a triceratops is one of those um, but I was able to say that it was such a straight face uh, that she thought I was being sincere and um, it really started a blooming relationship Okay, this this place is not where I'm supposed to go. Well, I've been doing this this whole time for what then? Well, I, you know what? I did not spend all this time trying to get to this place to not go and explore it. The cooling tower. Oh, who built nuclear power plants on Mars? And when? I don't know. Well, we got a glass book over here, so it's not a um a lost cause. Oh, it's a tape. Another locked door. One of these doors lets me in. I just man, I really wish I could remember which one it was. Hopefully I can get to the uh, the LV before I freeze to death. Otherwise this will be a... Oh, God. And to write things are going, I feel like I'm never going to make it... Uh, You know, to um, the exit that we're supposed to make it to. Which is funny, even the times that I say I'm going to take this serious, I uh, steal. I, I've still managed to, to not do it. This is this is the time though. This is uh, definitely the time it's gonna work. We're gonna find what we're looking for. We'll move on with our um, experience on Mars uh, to actually do whatever it is we're supposed to be doing. Maybe. Well, one thing that I'd hoped wouldn't occur is that we would get like a compass somewhere in the ship, uh, so we didn't have to bring our helmet. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that happened. It's okay though. It just would have been cool. And I've been to that building. I think there's those two buildings on the left I haven't been to. Uh, but obviously I am trying to actually make it to where it is I'm supposed to be going. Uh, I just I just have not had any luck yet. Even this doesn't have like some turbo. Launch myself over one of these dunes. That'd have been pretty cool.
Alright, I know this is not it, so uh, we'll just keep going. It looks like, you know, it's, um, like at the top of this mountain, but I, I feel like it's very misleading because I haven't seen a way to get up there, and I, I'm beginning to think you can't, so that certainly can't be the way to go. I mean, at the rate things are going, I don't foresee us actually being able to escape. It says 44 minutes. It's legitimately 44 minutes. It's 44 real minutes. Uh, which is funny, because I've already been playing it for 46 minutes, and um, I have yet to uh, escape... So if you're curious about the playtime, I mean, in theory, the game should only take you about like 50 minutes or so to uh, to really successfully play through. Uh, but if things go wrong or you decide to go exploring or whatever the case might be, uh, it could take a bit longer, which is my case today. There's also a way you can finish it earlier if you get to the right spot and you do the right thing, but I can't can't remember where that place is, so I'm not gonna really go into too much detail there. But there are multiple endings, I should point out. Come on, dude, just stay on target. As uh, the great philosopher Dory would say, keep on driving. He was a NASCAR driver, I think. Oh, come on. In between, like, trying to... Um, properly navigate and uh, deal with these sudden lack of uh, visibility time frames. It's uh, definitely not easy to get where I'm going. I feel like there should be like more paths. I, I don't even know if this place right here is where I'm supposed to go. It doesn't look like it is. Uh, so maybe it's Yeah, it's going to be this arrow thing. Alright. Target locked. In my mind. And Like I'm in a perpetual state of uh, doing this incorrectly. There's certainly paths you can take, I think, that uh, would give me a better likelihood of getting to where I need to go. Uh, but I don't know where those are, so I just have to kind of make do with my own best guesses. But I think, I think I'm finally at a point where I just might make it to where I'm trying to go. C. 
think uh, this might be a less steep area and I might be able to make it up. I think we I think I've done it. Oh success finally. Well done, we are coming. Wait for us. Don't risk the device landing soon. Okay. Are they though? This this ship looks like it's, you know, kind of kind of broken. Um, but it looks like we get about two minutes uh, before the ship lands, and uh, well, I think I might have finally hit my first successful ending to the game. Oh, that's pretty impressive. I mean, if, if that is what happens. It is a ginormous ship. I wonder what they want with this. Like, I mean, it's... For all intents and purposes, it's, it's just a straight-up vehicle of sorts. This is our poop and drinking water. Kind of gross. Eh, well, while we wait, might as well actually go back to looking at this operator's manual. I didn't really spend as much time looking at it as I wanted to before. Mothership is landing. Okay. Cool. Oh. Look at it. It's a ship. Sweet. Wait, now, do I only have a minute to get to it? Do they not realize how much of a struggle it's been for me to make it to this spot? I hope I can make it in time. 40 seconds? Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's a pretty cool ship, though. I'm gonna be so upset if this thing takes off before I can... get in there. Huzzah! I have done it. Bring device to hangar, right? Totally did, my dudes. Oh, jeez, there's people. Oh, well, that was unexpected. Mission accomplished. Indeed, it, I did a good job. You're very welcome, fellow humans. General, I salute you. How can you tell this is a general? Like some weird, like, 1950s-style World War II. Uh, you know, like, end of World War II... Oh, I'm supposed to click a button that takes us and automatically go. I'm pleased to finally meet you. I wasn't where you were on the ship, but anyway, I guess it's like a World War II in space kind of suit. Uh, we make sure every single unit knows only as much as they need to know. Mental overflow is a real disease. Yes, General, can I ask why troopers? For the safety of the crew, naturally. We don't want to introduce alien elements on the ship. Naturally. I need to control my emotions. The General, the rumors. I wish permission? I have questions, sir. As he peers at me with his eyes. It's unusual to ask questions during this stage of the interview. I know you know that. But considering the current developments and that you were the first who's ever come clo so close to finally accomplishing this mission, I'll give you one answer. I'm in a good mood today. I appreciate this, sir. Go ahead, let's not waste time. Uh, yeah, why, why was I tasked with retrieving this vehicle? Which vehicle? I mean the device, sir. I failed to choose the right word. The mission was tiresome. Tiresome indeed. Perhaps a small token of information will give you back some energy. 
We believe this alien device is technology that will allow Earth to expand faster throughout the solar system and the galaxy. The Great Marshal expects great things from us all. Why do we need this particular technology, sir? This alien technology was built in a time when we were just crawling on fuel. We believe a human alien threat has survived all this time buried somewhere here. The Great Marshal wants to give us these lands. We will colonize them faster if we have the right technology. Considering you were the first to complete your mission, I assumed you would be different. That you'd manage to evade the, the psychic degradation this planet or this alien land produces on people. I might have been wrong about you. Sort about you. This is unfortunate, but our directives cannot be broken. We have to evaluate the data of your AC9 unit. We have to check for malfunctions, distortions. Have you lost oxygen during your mission? No. I've had no malfunctions or any issues. Prepare subjects for evaluation. I understand the mission was clear. I did what they wanted, sir. I. Your confession has been recorded in total command of my mental processes and using the powers given to me. I sent you to a full evaluation of your... But I did nothing wrong. Maybe your body didn't, but your claims show effects of a tainted mind. May you pray for your soul to remain untainted. It would be a shame to discard a true hero from Earth on such a glorious day. Trooper sees this individual and call the High Priest for evaluation. No. You sons of guns. Let's see if your soul is still pure. Womp womp. There you go, that's one of the endings. There's a, there's several other endings. Um, we'll let the credits kind of play out. Uh, then I will stop the video. I'm probably going to play this offline uh, to kind of continue... Uh, looking at some of those other endings for myself your attention information our glorious leader the great marshal has decided to annex the faraway lands of mars to our realm first order families will have colonization priority your attention report weather unstable storms very likely Curfew begins in 54 minutes. Your attention. Information. Aww, and then it closes. Well, anyway, the link is in the description. It's a game that I highly recommend. It's um, a very enjoyable Mars exploration game. So follow the link, play the game, wishlist it, whatever it is that uh, works best for you. Uh, definitely two thumbs up. Excellent time.